Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to encourage somebody out there today. I look around and I see a lot of people that are doubting their salvation or that are so confused because they're being told by others that are talking about religion, legalism, saying it's faith plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this. It's a bunch of rules and regulations you have to keep uh, in order to get saved and in order to maintain or keep your salvation. So I wanted to encourage somebody out there today that's struggling recently, that maybe even doubting your salvation, or you're so confused by all the stuff people, all the junk that's out there, and it's just making you insecure, and you're not confident, and you're not rooted in your faith. Here's the bottom line. You can know that you are saved, and you can know that you will go to heaven if you were to breathe your last breath today. In the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 13, the Apostle John says the following, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So right there in the very beginning, he says very clearly again, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know, not that you may think that you have it, but that you may know that you have eternal life. And then the second part there is an encouragement for anybody that's reading this that's not a believer, that you may be, and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. So the bottom line is you can know that you are saved. In Romans chapter 8, verse 16 the Apostle Paul says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So this just further confirms that we can know, folks. Again, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. In Philippians 1.6, the Apostle Paul says, Being confident, confident, that's a very key word there, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So being confident, not being, you know, maybe this, maybe that, or I could be. No, you're being confident that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. You can know that you're saved and you can know that you're going to heaven. But if you're not sure, or if you're not a believer, and you're watching this right now, today's your day. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13 to 14, the Apostle Paul says, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. So first you have to hear, hear, the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, which the Apostle Paul gives you in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. It's right here, folks. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain." For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So the gospel of your salvation is very clearly that you believe Jesus Christ died on that cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose from the dead on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. You're putting your faith in your trust in the finished work of the shed blood of Jesus Christ on that cross at Calvary, right? Believing Jesus Christ became sin for you on that cross at Calvary so you can be forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. But once you hear the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, which is Jesus died for your sins, he was buried, and he resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. Look at what it says next in Ephesians 1.13. In whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, 
which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. In Ephesians 4.30 on the bottom there, it says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. The bottom line again is once you hear the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, which is Jesus Christ died on that cross for your sins, he was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day as it is written in the scriptures, and you believe that, you put your faith and your trust in that, there's a spiritual baptism that occurs. You're sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, sealed until the day of redemption. And in Philippians 1, 6 again, being confident of this very thing, that he, that, uh, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. It's my prayer this has encouraged somebody out there because there's a lot of people out there right now. I'm seeing it in the emails and the comments that are doubting their salvation or others are telling them if they're not keeping the Ten Commandments or if they're not doing this or that or that, that they're not truly saved and they're going to go to hell. It's my prayer if you're somebody that's been confused or that's been doubting your salvation, please meditate on the scriptures I just shared with you. And it shows very clearly that you can know that you are saved and you can know that you're going to heaven. But it has to do everything about what the Apostle Paul just says there. That you um, hear the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. And once you believe it again, you are sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Just wanted to encourage somebody out there today. I love you all and have a great day.